All right, just going to do a video explaining how Christian rock music and rock music in general destroys the purpose of music, destroys the scriptural purpose of music. You see, the purpose of music was to praise God and give glory to God. That was the whole purpose of music. It was not to glorify the flesh or, or serve as entertainment. It was to uh, give glory to God. That was the purpose of psalms and hymns and music and musical instruments and rock music destroys that purpose rock music is all about the flesh it's all about glorifying the flesh i mean heck rock and roll literally means fornication so rock music is fornication music proven fact not to mention that rock music leads to depression it can lead to like heavy metal in general can lead to depression it can lead to suicidal depression and, and many rock artists are on antidepressant medication because rock music is very bad for you both uh, for your health, mental health, and also for your spiritual growth if you're saved, if you're a Christian. But I'm going to show you some scriptures on the purpose of music. Psalms 150 verses 3 to 5. Turn there in your King James Bibles. Praise him with the sound of a trumpet. Praise him with the palstry and harp. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with the string instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him on upon the highest sounding cymbals. What's the purpose of musical instruments? To praise him. Who's him? God. Jehovah God. The Lord Jesus Christ. That's the purpose of musical instruments. More proof on that? Want some more proof? Psalms 149 verse 3. Turn there. Let them praise his name in the dance. Let him sing praises unto him with the timbrel and harp. So, again, musical instruments are being used to praise God, Jehovah God, the Lord Jesus Christ, who he is God, manifest in the flesh. For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Colossians 2.9 Jesus Christ, Godhead, body, soul, and spirit. Not going to get too much into that. Psalms 33, verse 2. Praise the Lord with harp, sing unto him with the palstry, and the instrument of ten strings. And finally, the final verse proving the purpose of mus musical instruments 1st Corinthians chapter 16 and verse or sorry 1st Chronicles 1st Chronicles chapter 16 and verse 42 got the name mixed up 1st and with with them Haman and Jaduthun with trumpets and cymbals for those that should make a sound and with musical instruments of God and the sons of, of uh, Jadatham or porters, okay? Musical instruments of God, okay? This is where musical instruments, one of the verses where musical instruments appears in scripture. Musical instruments are to praise God. That's simple. They're not meant to glorify the flesh as rock music does. Because again, what's rock music? Fornication. It's all about uh, partying, getting drunk, uh, taking drugs, drug addiction, alcoholism, just just living riot, you know, rioting, living according to the flesh. And same thing with Christian rock music. You see, when you go to a Christian CCM performance, who is the one being glorified? They claim it's, it's God, well, their God, because obviously the God, the God of Christian contemporary music is not Jehovah God of the Bible, not Jesus Christ. The God of CCM music is a false God. It's essentially the Antichrist. But they claim they're singing praises to God, their God, but the purpose of musical instruments uh, is to praise God. But when you go to these, these Christian contemporary con concerts, you know, find, show me that in scripture. Um, who, wh when the when the performance ends, they, who who is the one being clapped for? Their performers. You see, everyone's not clapping. They're doing it for the performers. So who is the one being glorified? It's the performers. It's not Jesus Christ. Not Jehovah God. So. Christian contemporary music destroys the purpose of music, which is to give glory to God. Not to please the flesh, not to be entertained, but to give glory to God. To the Lord Jesus Christ. So, there you have it. Those are some examples. Psalms 150 verse 3 to 5, Psalms 149 verse 3, Psalms 33 verse 2, and 1 Chronicles 16 42. Every time you, musical instruments are being used, 
It, or you can read about that in Exodus chapter 15. The musical instruments are always being used to praise God. He's that's the sole purpose of music, to give glory to God. Because he's the only one that, that deserves glory, obviously. So, uh, don't don't be deceived by the whole Christian contemporary scene. It is essentially just taking worldly, sinful, fornication music and trying to Christianize it. You can't Christianize something that is wicked. And we're going to get into that in the next video. So, uh, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.